Okay, this is going to be part two of my little review of this Vito Rancher XL. I've been using this bag for about a month now, and I've got it more or less dialed in. Uh, I'm not going to go over the tools as much in this video. I'm just trying to provide a little bit of information for those who might be shopping for this bag. When I was looking online before I purchased this, I couldn't really find much, so I'm hoping this video is going to be useful for somebody. Um, so I know maybe some boiler makers or plumbers that are using bigger wrenches. This is a three foot rigid cast iron pipe wrench. This will not fit in the side compartment. The jaw overhangs too much. I don't know why you'd want to carry a cast iron one around in this bag. You'd be kind of a maniac if you were doing that. But that information might be useful for somebody. Um, two foot Milwaukee, I'm sure the ridges as well fit in there almost perfectly. Um, and I really want, wouldn't want much more sticking out of the top. This is about uh, seven inches sticking out of there. Uh, 15 inch Milwaukee adjustable. Yeah, that fits in there no problem. And then uh, if you're using a two foot, adjustable wrench. This is a cheapo, right? So it's a little bit uh, smaller jaw than some of the nicer crescent wrenches. Or I know Ir Irwin makes a pretty nice two foot adjustable, but that fits in there just fine. Sticks out of the bag about 11 inches. Now the hammer holder, um, it's really pretty nice and it's nice that they put it at the top that way you can grab your hammers really easily. If it was a little bit lower down and you had some shorter hammers, the hammer head would fall into the bag a little bit and it might be a little more awkward to dig out of here, especially if you had some more items stashed in the center here. Um, this is a four pound Wilton. And that fits in there just fine. Uh, this additional weight does sort of flex this bag quite a bit. But I can't see that being an issue unless you're carrying this bag long distances over the course of a few years. It'd probably degrade, degrade, degradate. Yeah, that side would push in. Anyways, another thing that uh, I wish that they included, and they might have an option for it um, that I don't know about. I haven't looked on their website yet, but um, these plumbers don't. This is the Blue Monster stuff that I use a lot. Uh, there's no really good spot to put it in this bag. So if you look at the bottom, let's try to zoom in here. If I were to try to stash this in here, this is one of the shallower pockets. I can, and it fits fine. But the problem is getting it out. It's not super easy, especially when you have gloves on. Just not a... Oh, I'm not even going to bother for the video, but... The rolled lip on the edge of that pocket and then the rolled lip on the edge of the tin can catch on each other and make it hard to take out, especially if you've already got other stuff piled in the other pockets. Not a huge deal. I just put all my PVC primer and glue, pipe dope in the bottom, and that's been okay. I wish there, there was a dedicated storage solution for it. And again, maybe they do on the V-swap panel somewhere, but the way the bag comes from the factory, that's not set up super well for that. Another thing, and maybe they just didn't include it, I got a, a bad bag, but they didn't send me a pipe strap, pipe, uh, pipe, pipe tape strap or uh, electrical tape strap. I had to rob this off a different bag. I mean, if, if it's a plumber's bag, you'd think they'd put a strap with the bag for plumber's tape, but... I didn't get one on my bag. I don't know if that's a fluke or what, but um, not a huge deal. I robbed it off the bag that I didn't need it on. Still, uh, you know, I spend $300 on a bag, you'd expect you get a little piece of nylon for tape. Another thing I'm not super excited about with this bag is this pouch. I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna have more capacity, basically. You can see here, the zipper sewed pretty much directly to this panel. And this is a rigid panel. The magnets are nice and strong. Um, 
but there's no expansion panel. So as soon as you put a couple of screwdrivers in here, and maybe a small pipe wrench or something, you know, some pliers, this bag becomes really hard to zip up. And you know, that's okay. It kind of keeps you from overstuffing the bag, but it's not, uh, I'd rather overstuff it or have the ability to overstuff it than, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'd, if, if I could put more things in this, I'd probably use it more. I honestly might just take it off the bag entirely. Same with this little pocket. It's, it's a little bit more expandable, but still not the best. Another thing is, this is a little gimmicky, this little kickstand. If you've got gloves on and you're just doing a quick service job or you need to replace one or two quick fittings, you're not going to take the time to wrestle this thing out of here and then put it up and kick it, kickstand this little bag up real nice. Maybe if you're doing a, you know, some sort of a furnace install or you're going to be working on a certain spot for a long time, it might make sense to use the kickstand on that bag, but for my application, not very useful. Overall though, as, as far as efficiency goes, this bag kicks ass, honestly. I used to work out of the five gallon buckets and I just pretty much pile whatever I need in the bucket and probably wind up coming back to uh, basically my shop area at the facility here to grab additional things as I realized I needed them but with this bag I'm able to keep a load out that has me ready for probably 99% of the things I do around the mill. Anyways I hope that was helpful for somebody and thanks for watching.